Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel Code with Arohi. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can perform leaf disease detection using YOLO V5. So disease detection plays an important role in agricultural field because plant diseases affects the growth of plant and it is the major problem which is affecting the agricultural production pattern. So today I'll show you how we can build our custom leaf disease detection from scratch, okay? Because if we treat these leaf diseases at early stages, then we can reduce the economy loss. Because agricultural productivity is something on which our, uh, you know, uh, our economy highly depends upon. So let's begin. So first of all, I want to discuss about the data set which I'm using. So the data set which I'm using is plant doc data set. This data set is available on internet and this data set have around 2500 images across uh, 13 uh, different plant species and we have 30 classes which includes uh, healthy leaves and diseased leaves. Okay, so 13 plant species and we have 30 classes and uh, those 30 classes have diseased and healthy uh, leaves okay so this plant dog disease data set was published originally published by the researchers at indian institute of technology and those researchers they have trained this object uh, this uh, they have used they have trained this um, mobile net uh, algorithm and faster our CNN on this data set but we will use YOLO v5 for object detection all right so now let me show you the the number of images in each class so you can see here we have uh, the names of all the classes and then we have the number of images so you can see that the blueberry leaf tomato leaf yellow and the peach leaf these are the overrepresented classes means the maximum number of image in our data set belongs to these three classes and then you can see the red uh, the red um, uh, uh, the red bars over there you can see these are the underrepresented classes so what all those classes uh, grape leaf tomato leaf late blight tomato early blight apple rust leaf apple scab and the other classes these are the underrepresented classes means we have less number of uh, images for these classes so and if you will see this image overall you can see that we have um, a different number of images in each class so our data set is not balanced okay so guys if you want to get good result then you need to balance your data set first by balancing the data set i simply mean to say you should have equal number of images for each class okay because when you have equal number of images in each class then your algorithm will learn equally on all the classes now in this scenario what will in 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 our current data set scenario what will happen is our algorithm will give importance to the class which have more number of examples so that means most of the time our algorithm will give results in the favor of blueberry leaf tomato leaf and the peach leaf which are the overrepresented classes and it will not work well on the underrepresented classes okay so I suggest you if you are working on a, a real-time projects right then you should make this data uh, set balanced first and how you can make your data set balanced you can uh, simply you know perform data augmentation and you can increase the number of samples or you can collect images from the internet and then you can annotate all those images in the format of uh, YOLO right you have always you have to annotate the images in the format of the algorithm which on which algorithm you are working so for annotation you can use uh, label img tool this is quite good tool so and it's very easy to use label img tool you can simply install this tool by writing pip install label img and this is basically a desktop um, application this tool is a desktop application and then you can open this 
tool by writing label img in a command prompt and you can simply label your images okay so these are the ways you can do you can you know balance your data set but in my today's class i'm not going to balance the data set i will show you the output on this data set only and on the basis of those results we can further if we want then we can further make our data set balance and we can improve the results okay so now uh, so are you uh, you're clear about the data set now let's see the code so how we will work on this is so you can see here i am first of all we need tensorflow so the tensorflow i'm installing tensorflow gpu and the tensorflow gpu version which i'm using is 2.5.0 and after that guys we need to install torch in torch vision because yolo v5 runs on torch so we need these two modules so over here you have to see like the on the basis of uh, your gpu right or if you are using cpu then you will install the torch and uh, torch and the torch vision version as per that and if you are using gpu then as per your gpu you have to choose the specific version so from the official side of pytorch you can get the version as per your uh, resources so for me i'm using torch vision uh, torch version 1.8.1 and torch vision is 0.9.1 so uh, by, uh, by writing this command you can install them once you install them over here i'm checking the version um, which i have installed so you can see here my torch vision and uh, torch version and torch vision version is installed and my gpu the gpu which on which i'm working is uh, rtx 3090 so for rtx 3090 this is the torch and torch vision version i'm using okay so once you install the torch after that these are the few other modules which are required to run this code so i'm installing that and i've mentioned all the versions over there so like you, you can simply you know install the uh, exact versions which i'm using so i'm importing the versions after that this line so i have commented this line because i have already performed this step so what i'm doing over here is i'm cloning the yolo v5 from the ultra latex okay so yolo v5 is is the algorithm developed by them so we are cloning their uh, cloning from there so you have to perform this step once you perform this step you will get a yolo v5 folder like this you can see here okay after cloning you will get this folder and when you will open this folder you will get different files and folder under it okay now once you clone it after that you have to cd to that yolo v5 folder once you enter in that yolo v5 folder you need to run the requirements.txt file so you can see here we have under yolo v5 folder we have this requirements.txt so we are installing the other required modules from there okay so now the setup is done now we will work on our custom data set the data set which i have shown you which have 30 classes plant leaf diseases across 13 different plant species okay so these are the other other modules which i uh, required so i installed them so over here you can see this see we can train our model in two different ways one is we can use the this uh, transfer learning that simply means we will use over here you can see this yolo v5 s.pt so this is basically a weight file pre trained weight file so we are using this weight file and then we are training our model okay so what we are doing is python train.py image size we want to have is 416 you can change the image size as per your requirement over here batch size is 16 again you can change it if the if let's suppose you are getting some memory issue you can reduce the batch size and after that i'm running this code for 200 epochs again you can change it as per your requirement and data this is important data set .yaml this file is having the detail of your data set on which we want to train the algorithm now let me show you this file data set .yaml so let's go back here and data set .yaml this we have created ourselves and then we uh, we have uh, put this file in this yolo v5 folder okay 
so let's open this file and see what we have in this file okay so you can see over here in these two lines we are uh, we are defining the path of the images okay so this train over here we are defining the path of our training images and in this well we are defining the path of the validation images and number nc means number of classes and the number of classes we are using in this example is 30 right and the names of the classes here you can see i have mentioned the name of those 30 classes some of the classes have uh, diseased leaves and some of the classes belongs to the healthy leaves right so you can see let me scroll and show you so these are the names of those 30 classes this is what you have to write in your dataset.yaml file okay so uh, okay now let me show you the data set okay so where is our data set our data set is in data set folder under data set folder i have train folder under train folder i have images folder and in that images folder we have training images in the same way we have for validation images so let's go back and see come out this come out from this yolo folder over here you can see the data set folder which i'm talking about under data set folder we have train folder and val folder just ignore these two files okay this is just for my reference so train when you will open train folder under trains you have one images folder under images folder you have all the images right now these are the images but we need their annotation files also right so whenever we perform object detection then we need the annotation details so that annotation detail you have to create one separate folder with the name of labels right under train you need to create two folders images and labels under this labels folder you can see that we have text file one text file for each images image image so let's suppose if you have 100 images in your images folder then you need 100 annotation text files in your labels folder okay so in the same way you can see for well folder these are the validation images under images folder we have the validation images and their corresponding labels are present in labels folder okay so this is our data set it is now we are training our algorithm on that so this is the data set dot yaml file which is showing the all detail like where our training images are where our validation images are how many images how many classes we have and what the name of those classes all those things are defined here now over here let's see so this is the uh, this is the first way you can train your algorithm how we are training we are using the pre-trained yolo v5 and we are using the transfer learning and we are training it on our data set so let's suppose if we don't want to use this pre-trained model then what you can do just leave the weights like this okay leave the weights like this and rest of the command is similar so this is how you can train your algorithm once you train your algorithm you can check the output the tensor board right you can see the different graphs over here so okay once you okay let me show you what you get what after the training so go back here get inside your yolo v5 folder under yolo v5 folder you will have one folder with the name of runs when you will open this runs folder after training you will get this train folder okay so guys initially after training i am having three folders over here because i have performed the validation process also and the detect process also but initially when you will train your algorithm you will get one folder over here with the name of train okay so this train folder will have the details of the training let's open this train folder and uh, over here you will get another folder when you will open this folder you will see like this this confusion matrix uh, PR curve, R curve, then results. Okay, let me open the confusion matrix and show you. Give me a second. So you can see these are this is the confusion matrix 30 classes on x axis and 30 classes on y axis. You can see our confusion matrix over here, and then you can see the results. These are the different results on training data, right? All the detail you'll get over here, and after that, now this you will get this after training you will get this weights folder also this weight folder 
when you will open this void folder you will get two kind of file one is last and one is best so you can use best.pt this is our trained model now using this model we can test the algorithm okay now okay let me show you some of the data set so here you can see this kind of result you will get you can see that our algorithm is predicting right some of the results are good over here you can see it is predicting 70 percent that it belongs to this class 80 percent this belongs to this class this soybean leaf our algorithm is 40 percent sure only so why this probability value is so less because uh, if you remember our data set is not balanced so we are not going to get good results so if you want to get more effective results then you make your data set balanced first and then you can run your algorithm okay so right now we are getting this kind of results so clear about the training part after training you will see under run folder you will get train folder and under train folder you will get one folder and over here you can get all the curves all the losses and every other things over here okay so now over here i have created this folder i have created myself and i have uh, you know i have put some images on which i want to perform the testing now let me show you that work so yeah over here you can see so okay first of all over here i'm showing you the results which are stored in exp folder right so the, these are the some results now this is the command using this command you can test your algorithm python detect.py so guys remember earlier we have used python train.py so where these files are over here come to your yolo folder you can see that train.py file is here so this file is containing the code which is responsible to train our algorithm and then for testing we are using this detect.py file this file is containing the code uh, which is responsible for showing us the predictions so you can open these files this file is having the simple python code and if you want to make any minor modifications you can made over here okay so now we are using python detect.py and then weights see guys over here we are giving the weights which we have uh, which we got after training the algorithm best.pt and it is in weights folder which weights folder the folder which is present in exp5 which is in train folder and which is in runs right so this is what i have shown you uh, a minute back so this is uh, the weight uh, pre-trained weights which are trained on your data set and again the image size and the confidence you can change the confidence score over here let's suppose you want the predictions only which are above the 80 percent you can change the value over here right and source from where we want to on on which image you want to test the algorithm so we are so, so telling it that we have one test folder in exp5 let me show you so we have let's go to runs train exp5 and in exp we have one test folder in this test folder we are having 100 images so on these for these 100 images i want to show the predictions okay so that's what we are doing over here we are giving the path of the folder in which we have lots of images and we want to perform the prediction on these images okay so once you run this code see over here your results will get stored under detect folder detect folder will get created itself under detect folder you have another folder and in this folder you will be getting your results let me show you where so we are in yolo v5 run detect under detect you have exp5 folder and here okay so in your case so these are the images so these are the predictions on those hundred images let me show you a few images you can see this is what we are getting right these kind of results you will get okay so this is how you perform uh, testing right and if you want to show any of the image on your jupyter notebook you can show it like this you can see right so this is how this is how it works so that's it guys uh, this is how we use yolo v5 for 
uh, leaf disease detection and again if you want to improve the uh, prediction the probability then you should uh, balance your data set first and then run it thank you for watching